close maybe hold your hand a little hey guys welcome back to another video in today's video i am telling you everything you need to know what about like what comes in a traveling package i have worked with three companies in the traveling like i don't know world and that has been arius medical med travelers and maxim healthcare and i will have everything all their information linked down below um in the description box but every company is pretty much the same as far as what packages that you'll be getting um and i reached out to a friend over at med travelers his name is nick and i'll have his email down below if you guys would like to contact him as well um but it all depends on your length of experience and um like what if you worked within the last year or if you have not been working and how long that has been um so experience uh with that being said like they require one to two years of experience before you start traveling which i have said on my on my channel before but with what one, one thing i did find out is that you could have had a year of experience three years ago. If you have not been working in the field within the last year, then it does not count, unfortunately. That's experience, and the package includes benefits, and the benefits are um, medical, dental, and vision, 401k, and a flexible spending, life insurance, accidental, short-term disability coverage, free continuing education, free private housing, but it also offers competitive pay rates. Um, I am looking at a like particular assignment and this is in Flor Florida, um, it was at Fort Lauderdale, Florida, and the pay per week could range between 1,600 to 2,000 a week right now. And it is eight nights, eight hour night shifts, and the start date is February 6th. And it's for 13 weeks and this is from med travelers um one thing that he did point out is that your hourly is taxable and say if you didn't need a car um or you just walked to work or you had a friend or family in that area that you could stay with and use their car then they give you a car allowance as well. Or if you do need a car, then you don't get that car allowance. You actually, they'll rent you a car um, or you could drive your own car. Uh, the other thing is your per diem and that ranges between 30 to $50 a day. Um, and that's just for like your food and things like that. And I believe that is not taxable. Um, he was not clear on that. Hourly is taxed and your car allowance is taxed. Um, if you get it if you don't then it's not taxed obviously so you also will get a housing allowance and that can range um as well and that's why they put that fluctuation in there 1600 is the low end and 2000 is the high end 1600 the hourly rate of 1600 is already um deducting your housing your travel and your car allowance and the 2000 is keeping it in there and this is all per week so roughly monthly you make about two four six eight hundred eight thousand dollars a month and if you do take the all the allowance and the bonuses that they offer you then you'll make about sixty four hundred a month um, and this is all pre-taxed so um, those are the benefits of traveling if you can travel with a family member you can travel with your pets um, it does not, they don't, you know, frown against that. They tell you no, they, they, they won't tell you that. Um, but I have traveled with my family. I have been traveling for 15, 16 years now, and I absolutely love it. The flexibility, the open, you know, uh, the openness of your schedule. Like this right now, I am off for a month, so I won't be working for a whole month. And um, so... Right now, I'm just at home with my family and my and enjoying the quality time that I have with them right now for a month, and I'm just loving it. So I do enjoy the flexibility of being a traveling. Now, let's talk about the perks of traveling as a contract employer. 
being a contract-based employer or employee, um, I'm not really considered an employee, I'm a contractor. So I am, the benefits with that is, is that I get higher pay per hour because it's like they're combining all of the perks of a 13-week assignment into my hourly pay. So they're giving me gas, they're giving me my per diem, they're doing all that and they're breaking it down per hour. So my last assignment that I was on, um, it was... 70 70 an hour and um which was completely fine with me i don't mind that the lowest that i will go even walking into an establishment full time is 50 dollars an hour so 70 dollars gas your per diem and all that is in is worked into your hourly rate so that was not bad and i i worked probably about an hour and a half from my job i mean from my home so that's not bad at all uh and i and i love it because i only work three days a week and i was able to be home with my kids and be home with my family and cook dinner and still be a wife and a mother so yeah but i guess the cons of being an employer self-employed contractor is that you have to pay for your own insurance and you have to pay for your own taxes you do your own taxes and things like that you're not a w-2 you're not a w-2 you're a 1099 and so everything is itemized and you do your own taxes the plus side of traveling as a 13-week assignment a stenographer you will be taxed out of your check so you'll be getting a w-2 and you do your taxes right in your own state in your own home or you could do it wherever you're traveling at they'll just use the address of your permanent residency so you could do your taxes anywhere um but yes so if you have any more questions i hope this made sense just remember you can reach out to me on instagram or you could contact me through email and i know that you guys have some of you have emailed me and i have not gotten back to you i did see them i have read them and i will be contacting you soon um just give me some time and i will definitely get back to you so um probably next week sometime i will be reaching out and yeah so i really hope you guys enjoyed this video and i really hope it made sense to you but i wanted to put this video out just because i do get questions on like what is the packages can i travel with family yes you can you could travel do van life with this um with you know with traveling you could travel in the states you know and you're getting paid to stay in your van you know because they do give you a car allowance so that's nice i have stayed in apartments and one or two bedroom apartments um, and they've had, you know, they paid me a car allowance because I use my own car and traveling is within 50 miles of your home. So you don't have to go to another state. You don't have to go to, you know, across country. You, traveling is actually 50 miles outside, out radius outside of your permanent residency. So you could travel within your own state and be having money on top of money because the per diem literally pays for your meals a day and you pocket everything else you know if you have to stay with a family member you could pocket an extra thousand dollars or sixteen hundred or whatever they're giving you a month um for that assignment so definitely consider it um and i really hope i really hope you guys enjoyed this video and like i said Contact me on Instagram, DM me, or leave me an email, and I will, go, I will get back with you shortly. Thank you so much, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. We ride around in style, sleeves rolled up, glasses on. And then you make that smile, and my heart starts racing when I'm with you.